All right, welcome on in to another opportunity to chat with some of these student athletes and uh, excited to chat with our next guest, Namias Kata, back for another year with Utah State. How are you doing, man? Good to see your face. Hey, man. Nice to see you, too. So take us through the, uh, take us through the process of uh, figuring out you wanted to come back for a junior year. I'm sure you had a lot of people that you, you talked to, that you consulted with. What was that decision like? Um, it was a hard decision, um, especially due to the, all of the uncertainty um, because of the coronavirus. Um, I, had, I really had no idea if we were going to have workouts if I, if I had left. Um, there wasn't, there wasn't a tournament. We, we didn't even finish our season. So, um, there were a lot of things out there, out there and it wasn't, and it wasn't just the right timing to go and just, and I just felt like, uh, I really had a really good opportunity to stay here and keep, keep improving. And it would just help me too. What were the conversations like with the coaching staff, coach Smith and the staff, uh, about, uh, about next year and, and, and and what was it about next year that made you feel so excited about coming back for another year? Um, just the just the excitement. Um, just j I know a lot of the guys that that are gonna come back. I played with them. Um, I played with them. I practiced with them, and I know what they're capable of. And I just felt that we got we got probably the same amount of chances that we had last year to win another another championship. And besides, we're gonna we're still trying to figure figure out some players to fill in a few yeah. scholarships. So we should be, we should be pretty good. So do you feel like maybe some unfinished business after winning the conference championship and not being able to play the NCAA tournament? I know you want to get back to that. Yes, that yes, to yes. To do. Yeah. Definitely, man. Um, I had, I had freshman year to get there and win. I didn't, we didn't make it. Yeah. Um, this year we had an opportunity to be there and we didn't, we didn't get a chance to be to prove it, um, and I just feel that we're the group of guys that we have is prepared for it. We're we've been eager for it. You know, there's a lot of people out there that obviously with Sam Merrill gone, that they feel like those are some pretty good shoes to fill. But you, I know the guys that you're talking about. You know, Marco Anthony, some of these other guys that are going to come in. How confident are you that you're able to fill that role left by Sam Merrill? Um, I just feel it's not going to be an easy spot to fill. Um, Sam was a great player. It's a, it's a, it's a hard loss. You, you can never refill that. Um, I just feel that we're going to all have to step up a little bit. Um, everyone's going to have to step up a little bit more and just some guys will step up more than the others, but at the end of the day, it's going to be a team effort. How long in the season before you felt like you were completely healthy? How long did it take before you really felt 100% last year? Um, physically. I felt I felt healthy all the time. Yeah. But the mental barrier is just it's just the the worst part. It's it's super hard to get get back into it um from a mental standpoint. Um I could I could I could I could think of making plays that I felt that I could make, but my mind would just trick me and always what if, what if, what if, but at the Past around a month, a month and a half, that's when I really started feeling feeling comfortable in it, and I just started playing a lot better, too. Uh, you know, that San Diego State game is a game that I think every Aggie fan is going to remember the rest of their lives. What was it like playing in a game like that that went back and forth and ultimately led to you guys winning a championship? I mean, man, it was crazy. Um, finals, I've, I've always grew up – uh, being told that you don't play finals, you win them. Yeah. And and going into that final, we I just I we were all exhausted and we just we just knew we needed to win that one, and we and we just dug dug our, ourselves out of the big hole that we had, whether it was mentally, um, physically through the three games in three days, um, the big deficit that we had. I think that we just kind of we just fought, found strengths in each other and we just helped each other to get climb back, climb back out of that hole that we dug ourselves into and we just found a way to win. And that's what this team is all about. Is that your favorite game in an Aggie uniform so far? Uh, Nevada I, I, was the only other one I could think of. Man, Nevada really, Nevada really had 
it yeah. had a right a spot in my heart, man. Yeah, that game was crazy. It was amazing. How are you? Uh, how are you handling? Are you in Logan still? Did you go home? Where are you at now? I'm in, I'm still in Logan. Um, I'm just here finishing school, um, and I'm just and I'm just trying to work out wherever I can. How hard is that trying to find places to work out and and to get your conditioning and everything else in? I mean, it's hard to find places, but if you if you know the right people, you you'll find some places to work out and and get your work in or whatever you got, whatever you got, you can make make stuff out of it. Yeah. Is it I mean, how weird is it? Is it just being a student doing everything online? Maybe you're doing already. I mean, I don't know if you're already doing stuff online, but how hard is that? Man, it's hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Um, you, I've never. It's been a. It's been a long time since I since I've just been a student, um, without the athlete part involved, and it's really hard. It's really hard just to just to shift your mind off of basketball. I'm I'm constantly thinking of basketball. Yeah. Um, just sh- trying to watch videos, trying to watch players, and all of that, but. Right now, I still gotta finish school, um, and just and just be a regular student. That's pretty much what I'm be, I'm being asked to do right now. Yeah, how's your family doing over in Portugal? They're doing pretty good, man. Um, Portugal's been been kind of affected by the by this virus, but I think that I think stuff is gonna reopen in the in the beginning of May, and gradually we'll just all get get back into normal. Namiya Shkeda, kind of enough to join us back for another year at Utah State. You know, are you ready for, I mean, Sam was kind of the leader of this team for a while. And, and uh, I mean, he was kind of the guy that everybody looked to. Are you ready to kind of take on more of that role as a leader on this team? Yes, man. For me, I just feel that um, since we lost somebody that important, somebody, somebody needs to step up. And I just feel, I feel ready for it. Um, I'm going to go every day ready for it. I'm just going to go every day to the gym and just work, work to try to help this team get another championship. That's our goal. That's what we're working for. And then hopefully get in the tournament and get another and get the, get a win there. Yeah. So tell me about a guy like Marco. Uh, we've all seen him hanging on the sidelines. You practice with him. You've seen him as a player. What can Aggie fans expect out of him next year? Um, Marco's a really great player. Um, I really don't uh, – I don't know how much people ca- are expecting from him, but people probably are going to get surprised, in my opinion. Um, Marco's a really good player. He know, he's strong. He can guard. He can pass. Um, he does a little bit of everything. He can play one through four, so I just feel that he'll just fit in our system perfectly. Do you uh, Have you had a lot of contact with the coaches since uh, this all this virus? How are, how are they doing, and what's that communication like? Um, they're doing pretty good. Um, I talk to them oftenly through through the phone mainly. I see them sometimes, but I try to stay away from them. Uh, I don't. I don't wanna. We don't. We do not wanna. No. No social distancing for sure. But it's just a. Uh, we just we just see each other oftenly, but it's not. It's not a big. Gotcha. What uh, what was the conversation like when you called every uh, called those coaches up and told them you were coming back for another year? Um, it was a simple conversation, man. We just, I just, I just told them what I was feeling and what 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 options I had, um, and I just and I just heard, and they and they told me their their opinions, and I just and I just heard them, and I just pretty much just made my my own decision. What are the things you want to work on uh, going into next season? What do you want to develop as part of your game? Getting getting a lot better in lateral lateral quickness. Yeah. Um, I want to become better. I want to become stronger too. Um, I've gained a lot of a lot of strength, but I still need to I still need to improve in some different areas that I didn't work as much. But I feel that I feel that in the few in the few weeks that we'll have uh for the summer i'll be able to improve a lot and just become become better better as a offensive player too yeah but, but not forgetting the the fundamental that's defense well i tell you what i think i speak for a lot of utah state fans and we're glad to see you back for another year we're excited to see what this team can do and uh 
next season can't get here fast enough, man. Yes, man. I can't wait too. All right. Congratulations. And let us know what we can do for you down the line. All right. For sure, man. Thank you, Scott.